Welcome, and thank you for joining me as we read scripture and take in the Word of God together. We will read the chapters straight through, and if God gives me any revelation or insight, that will be included at the very end, if at all. I'm using my printed Bible, so it might not exactly match what's on the screen. With that, let's pray and get to today's reading. I ask, Lord, for your protection over us. Do not allow the enemy to cheapen your word. I ask that you would give us understanding, take away our misconceptions, just fill our minds, O oh Lord, with your truth. Thank you for speaking to us. Amen. We'll be reading Genesis 16. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, but she had an Egyptian maidservant named Hagar. So she said to Abram, The Lord has kept me from having children. Go, sleep with my maidservant. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Abram agreed to what Sarai said. So after Abram had been living in Canaan ten years, Sarai, his wife, took her Egyptian maidservant Hagar and gave her to her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar, and she conceived. When she knew she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Then Sarai said to Abram, You are responsible for the wrong I am suffering. I put my servant in your arms. Now that she knows she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Your servant is in your hands, Abram said. Do whatever you think is best. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar, so she fled from her. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, servant of Sarai, where have you come from, and where are you going? I'm running away from my mistress, mistress Sarai, she answered. Then the angel of the Lord told her, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will increase your descendants so much that they will be too numerous to count. The angel of the Lord also said to her, You are now pregnant, and you will give birth to a son. You shall name him Ishmael, for the Lord has heard of your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone, and everyone's hand against him, and he will live in hostility towards all his brothers. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. That is why the well was called Berlai Roy. It is still there between Kadesh and Bered. So Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram gave the name Ishmael to the son she had born. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. Let's pray. Lord, I ask that you don't just let us click away and on to the next thing. Lord, flame the fire within us to seek you. I ask that you inspire our minds to just think deeply about your word. Show us your true self, oh Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for speaking directly to each of us individually. And I just thank you for your presence as we go about our day. May we keep you in the forefront of our minds. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.